It's my understanding I was coughing so violently that they were concerned that I was going to either break my ribs or have a heart attack, so I was intubated. And they basically told us that they thought um, that he was not going to make it, that they could not put out the fire in his lungs. We went to Alaska and we were on a cruise. There were big brush fires in 2019 in Alaska. And Mary was concerned that uh, the air quality wouldn't be good for me because I had asthma. And by the time we went to the airport in Fairbanks at the end of the land part, I was already coughing pretty good and I was starting to drop like a rock. Eventually on September 22nd, yeah, that's the day. Uh, Mary came home from church. I said, can you take me to the emergency room? And they told Mary that the first weekend I was 50-50 to make the weekend. Five infections in his body. And the, the one that was the worst was aspergillus, which is basically mold in your lungs. And that it would be best to just, you know, pull the vent and let him go. On Monday, I walked into ICU at 8, 8 a.m. and he was awake for the first time in seven weeks. So we had done some research and talked to his lung doctor and, you know, determined that, you know, Barlow was his best chance to get off the ventilator. Um, yeah, it's just a miracle. And uh, it's bigger than the doctors. Well, we appreciate every day, that's for sure now. <laughs> Absolutely. Tuan Wen was one of my physical therapists and I recognized him. It was kind of like having, you know, a friend on the inside the people that care for patients are very special. I won't soon forget. I always felt like people were cheering us on, you know? Like people like Jessica and Anna were so upbeat and always cheering us on. Spent two months at Barlow. The day he came home was very emotional for us. You have a lot of time to think and reflect, and I did. And you still always eat dessert first. I still always eat dessert first, <laughs> especially on a cruise where nobody's counting. <laughs> if I'm lucky enough to wake up and God gives me another day, what are we doing? Where's the party? And it seems to be working. It is working. He is grateful for every day and never complains, like when he's having a terrible coughing fit or, you know, when he's just tired. Um, he never complains about it. I think that is what's most important, that you value life so much differently yep. and so much in a much more enriching way. I am now back at the golf course, and it doesn't matter whether I play good or bad. I'm there with my buddies. Planned a big 70th birthday uh, cruise to uh, Australia, New Zealand. It had to be canceled because of COVID. So we just did that trip in February, this February, for his, help me, how old are you now? 72nd birthday. 72. <laughs> Instead yeah, of his 70th. Wasn't quite ready. <laughs> Uh, he continues to conquer the things people told him he'd never be able to do again, which is great. Yep. If you stay strong and keep fighting, it's amazing what you can accomplish. When I have my good days, I do real well. And when I don't, I just go, day after tomorrow, I'll do it again. So you just gotta keep moving forward. Yeah, we had a lot of great care. The right people doing the right things, for yeah. sure. All the people that cared for me, all the doctors, the nurses, all the staff, I'm very grateful and thankful I have uh, another chance. Thank you so much for taking such good care of him and getting him to his next step on his path to recovery. So thank you, Barlow.